Hi, I'm Taryn with Design Dining and Diapers, and today we are going to be transforming this piece of furniture using some tape and a little bit of paint. Whether you are a beginning DIYer or been at it for a long time, one of the best ways to practice new techniques is to pick up a cheap piece of furniture from the Goodwill or another thrift store and um, try some new things out that you've never done before. I picked up this, um, this piece at the Goodwill for just $8, and today I'm going to be using some chalk paint some chalkboard paint and some 3M scotch blue tape to show you how you can completely transform a look by adding a new um, shapes and designs just by using tape. So here we go. So I started off by painting um, this piece in two coats of Annie Sloan pure white chalk paint. And generally when working with an old piece of furniture, you'll want to always clean it, which I did in this case but um, you also want to prime it and sand it as well. But when working with chalk paint, you don't have to do those steps, so I skipped ahead and just painted. You could really use any type of white paint that you wanted to, depending on the look that you wanted, but I chose chalk paint because that's what's going in the space that I'm working in, so it kind of just all works together. So now it's time to get on to the little details, really accentuating them in a different color paint. So I started by painting, taping off some of the edges of the drawers. I really love the clean lines of this piece, so I'm really excited to see them pop. And next I have a little pattern. I love the honeycomb look right now, so I went ahead and cut out a honeycomb shape using my silhouette. You could do it on your computer if you don't have a silhouette, um, and you could just use basic scissors to cut it out. So I, used, I have my pattern. I'm going to put it right on top of my piece here. You can see I've already started tracing it, so I just used a nice pencil to kind of work around the edges, and I made the thickness about the same size as the tape that I'm going to be using. So right now I'm using 3M Scotch Blue Edge Tape, and this will really create one of those crisp, clean lines. So we just want to fill all the edges, do a little piece here, and we're just going to start taping along those edges. And one thing I like to do is to get a really clean line with your tape to use an X-Acto knife and you can just cut away where you don't need the tape and that way you get a really clean line and you're not ripping it. So I'm going to go ahead and finish taping this and then we'll see what it looks like. It's day two of our side table makeover and we're just about finished. So I let the chalkboard paint dry overnight and now it's time for my favorite part, the big reveal, pulling off the tape. So we're just going to go in and see, pull off gently, look at that nice clean line we have for our honeycomb pattern. And then I'm just going to go through and erase some of the pencil marks that are left in there. But I'm so excited about how this is turning out. We might just have to do a few touch-ups, but other than that, it's looking great. And then to finish it off, I'm going to use some furniture wax by Annie Sloan just to go over the white chalk paint. Um, not the chalkboard paint, so we want to be able to draw on that. So we're just about done, and if you read the post, you'll get to see the full reveal of it in the room. Thanks for joining us.